It's Angela from the blog, Angela Marie Mead, and I'm really excited to show you how to build my DIY outdoor chair. <laughs> After many requests, I built this chair to match my DIY outdoor couch that I built last summer, and now I have the complete matching set, and I love them both. I made them to go with my white outdoor cushions, which I will link below where to find those cushions. And I'll also link below the full tutorial and material list for making the chair as well as the couch. And I do have free printable build plans for my couch in my free printable library, so check that out. This building project is really inexpensive. It only costs about $30 in lumber to build the chair and about $35 to build the couch. It's mostly made out of 2x3 framing lumber, so that's why it's so cheap and it's also really sturdy. <laughs> All right, let's get started with this build. The wood you're going to need for this project is five two by threes at eight feet long and two one by threes at eight feet. Begin by cutting your two by three lumber using a miter saw. Again, you can get the full cut list in my tutorial below, but you're going to need four pieces for the side frames of the chair two pieces for the top part of the side frames, and then you're going to need nine other pieces for the back supports and bottom supports of the chair. Step two is to add pocket holes using a Craig jig to your lumber. You're going to add two pocket holes to each end of the five back support pieces as well as the four pieces that will be used as the middle supports. Step three is to assemble the side frame pieces of the chair. Mark 10 inches up from the bottom of one of the 24 and a half inch pieces, and then attach one of the 27 and a quarter inch pieces perpendicularly. And attach them together with two and a half inch Craig screws. And I used a scrap 1x4 and paint stick underneath of the 2x3 to hold it up so the edges would be flush. Repeat this process for the other side. Next, attach one of the top frame board pieces, which measures 30 and a quarter inches, to the top of the frame that you just assembled with two and a half inch deck screws. Make sure that they're countersunk beneath the wood surface and you will fill them with wood filler later. I used self-tapping deck screws that do not require pre-drilling, but if you are using screws that require pre-drilling, make sure you drill a pilot hole first. Repeat these steps for the second side chair frame. Step four is to add the side slat boards to your chair side frames. And these side slats are really just for decorative purposes and they're totally optional. You don't have to add them for structural reasons, but I think they make the chair look extra cute and I also think they'll be helpful for keeping pillows from falling out the sides. The measurement should be close to 27 and a quarter inches, but since we're working with framing lumber, they might be a tiny bit off. That's why we're measuring for the exact length. Space the 1x3s 1 and 3 quarter inches apart, starting from the top of the 2x3. Add each 1x3 one at a time with 2 inch brad nails through the side 2x3 legs. Step five is to attach the sides of the DIY outdoor chair together. And you're going to do that by attaching the front and back bottom boards. Use two and a half inch Craig screws and a drill to do this. Make sure that the pocket holes are facing the inside of the chair frame.
After the front and back support boards have been added, go ahead and add the bottom support boards of the chair. Again, using two and a half inch Craig screws. You want to space the bottom support boards about eight inches apart. Step six is to add the back frame boards to the chair. Attach the remaining three boards to the side frames to create the back frame of the chair. You want to space the boards about two and three quarter inches apart. Again, attach these using two and a half inch Craig screws. And that's it for the build. Step seven is to fill your holes, do any extra needed sanding, and stain the outdoor chair. For the stain, I used one coat of Valspar Semi-Transparent Exterior Stain in Pine Bark. Let the stain fully dry for at least 24 hours and then add your cushions. I just love how our DIY outdoor chair turned out. I'm so excited that I get to start enjoying it with the beginning of spring and their entire summer. Again, if you would like to see how to build the matching DIY outdoor couch, check my link below. And the full tutorial for this build as well as the links to the cushions are linked below. Thanks again for watching and please subscribe to my channel.